A very good evening. You're watching the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa hosted an iftar banquet at Rauda Palace yesterday evening, marking the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. The banquet was attended by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The iftar banquet was also attended by senior members of the royal family, who conveyed greetings to His Majesty the King, wishing him continued health and happiness, and to Bahrain and its people, wishes of further progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King exchanged greetings with them, thanking them for their noble sentiments. His Majesty extended his greetings to the people of Bahrain, wishing them, as well as the Arab and Islamic nations, many happy returns.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gidibia Palace a number of officials, business, intellectual and media figures, where they congratulated His Royal Highness on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. His Royal Highness affirmed that the holy month's atmosphere is a sign of maintained security and stability for the region, especially after the successful historic summit recently held in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which formulated an important phase of international joint action to enhance security and stability and combat terrorism. He stressed the importance of expanding Bahraini international investment and affirmed Bahrain's support of all efforts targeting progress and development. His Royal Highness also stressed the need to enhance communication amongst Bahraini society in order to enhance national unity. He urged that Ramadan Majlises be places to meet and exchange opinions on topics that support the Kingdom's efforts towards further progress. He affirmed continuous progress in all sectors, which is necessary to provide the people of Bahrain with high living standards. His Royal Highness praised the role of the press and media figures in contributing to the country's success and progress. He also discussed with the audience recent regional and international developments and added that the primary goal of every regional and international strategy is to maintain security and stability and achieve further prosperity. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the launch of the final stage of the 100th Giro d'Italia, which is a leading cycling tournament. Bahrain Merida Pro Cycling Team took part in the race, which is in which the team's captain, Vincenzo Nibali, won second place in the overall ranking after coming in third at the end of the second round. Giro d'Italia is considered one of the world's most difficult races due to its hard route and steep slopes and inclines. The race starts in Sardinia and ends in Milan. It is made up of 21 stages and is 3,615 kilometers long. Sheikh Nasser affirmed Bahrain's keenness to take part in various athletic events to promote its achievements and development at all levels, according to the directives of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. He added that the participation of Bahrain Merida team is in line with His Majesty's vision to place Bahrain at the centre of the sporting map, which will be achieved through the recognition of the kingdom by fans and participants after witnessing the team's strong performance in this leading tournament. His Highness noted that the team's participation will have positive outcomes for Bahrain and will make the country a hub for cycling in the Middle East, in line with Bahrain's Vision 2030. Sheikh Nasser expressed admiration of the track, saying that it offers a challenge to the cyclists. He held Team Merida's participation and preparation in the race, expressing optimism about his performance in the Giro d'Italia based on positive results in previous tournaments. He noted that participation in such global tournaments will provide the Kingdom with the experience to host similar contests in the future.
The Minister of Education, Dr. Maja bin Ali Al Naimi, today inspected a number of schools where he was assured of the progress of final examinations and reviewed the ministry's procedures to ensure the examinations proceed smoothly. He also listened to the views and observations of a number of students and members of administrative and educational bodies regarding these examinations. Al Naimi affirmed that the ministry has provided all facilities that guarantee the students perform final exams in a suitable environment which will contribute to the students achieving the best results. He added that the ministry took into account the accuracy and clarity of questions and formed ministerial committees competent to respond to questions from schools on this regard, also taking into consideration the difficulty or ease of the course when preparing the final examination schedule. The minister also inspected a number of examination committees for students with special needs, cancer and sickle cell disease. He also added that the ministry has provided a sufficient number of exam correction centres in all governorates, affirming the importance of committing to regulations and laws that ensure accuracy in correcting exams and sorting out results on time. The minister praised the efforts of educators in the ministry and schools that aided the success of final examinations, wishing all students luck. Ramadan is a time of reflection, spirituality and ancient traditions. Individuals and retail stores have been very busy getting ready to welcome the holy month of Ramadan. More in this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. Upon the approach of the month that features highly spiritually charged atmospheres blended into aesthetic rituals, preparations are a full swing in the kingdom. The products which we are getting it from abroad, generally we start ordering those about four months in advance because they take time to come here. But as far as there are certain products which are local products, all the pro local products are being bought at least a month before and whole Ramadan display and everything goes on the shelves at least 15 to 20 days before Ramadan. Families early prepare themselves for the holy month of Ramadan through different rituals, starting from the moon sighting as people observe fasting from dawn to dusk, to buying food supplies, sharing Ramadan induced feelings of joy. Ramadan is different, different. Timing is different. So preparing for Ramadan usually it will be, we are less sleeping, but most of the time we are going to prepare food, fa visiting family, or going shopping, or going to take items. Especially with the start of Ramadan, you know, uh, the pakoras, the samosas, the chicken, and you know, all these, uh, the frozen stuff, the, the, the sea kebabs, you know. So this is something that is, uh, iftar, iftar is incomplete, incomplete with. So we all uh, love to shop for Ramadan and uh, we look forward to working and we've got, got some good promotions and offers in Ramadan. I am preparing my home, also cleaning home and I came for shopping, for gro take grocery for Ramadan. That's why I came here. I can't take in Ramadan, no? I, I will keep fast. That's why I came here, to preparation for my Ramadan. Eat, stock up on a lot of things, especially oil, because you fry a lot of stuff uh, during Ramadan. You have a lot of fried things. That's that's about it. Just stocking up on everything so that we don't have to come to the supermarket all the time. As the ninth and holiest month in the Muslim calendar comes to a close, the country anticipates joy in preparations to welcome Ramadan, building upon the seasonal festivity of the holy month. Another year passes and Bahrain gets ready to welcome at the doorstep another month of the holy month of Ramadan. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,317.4 points, marking an increase of 3.18 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks and services sector, and investors traded mainly in the services sector with 64% of total shares. 37 transactions included 1,692,778 shares worth 461,231 Bahrain dinars. The Economic Development Board of Bahrain signed today three cooperation agreements with China's Advanced Technological Transformation Center, Belt and, Belt and Road Economic and Technological Cooperation and Transboundary Electronic Commerce Association on the sideline of an official visit of the Chinese business delegation. CEO Khalid al rumihi affirmed that these agreements reflect Bahrain's keenness to enhance business relations with China in order to attract business investments and create job opportunities. 
under the program Tamweel launched by Tamkeen earlier this year. Tamkeen and Bahrain Islamic Bank inaugurated a 20 million BD portfolio to support medium and large enterprises. The program provides Sharia compliant financing with Tamkeen supporting 70% of the annual profit rate capped at 8% on reducing balance. The financing amount ranges from 1 to 2.5 million Bahraini dinars and the program will include the following advantages. Long-term repayment period in addition to granting the freedom to use the finance amount for investment, development and expansion.